What up everyone, I'm Eli from That's So Eli and now EJ Studio where every week I bring just a little bit of a Disney magic into your life one day why at a time. Now if you're anything like me, you tend to bring out your personality in very loud, very loud ways. So in this week's video, I actually made some Mickey Mouse ears, Mickey Mouse inspired um, graduation headpieces. Graduation attire. This is awkward. So awkwardness aside, here's how I made the graduation ears for my grad photos. And honestly, they turned out really cute, but stay tuned for the end of the video to see how it really looked in the photo. Now to create the template, you can obviously use a Mickey Mouse hat if you have that available, or if you don't, just literally use a cup or a bowl or something to trace out this, uh, a circle for the template. And it's not going to be a complete circle, but there's going to be a little snidge, a little bottom part cut off. And then after, you just want to trace only two. I only, I uh, cut out four just in case. Uh, this is extra just in case, but you only technically need two for uh, obviously because you only have two ears And then you just want to cut it out trace it Honestly, this video has lots of tracing and then afterwards if, since it had no fabric I literally just use like a grocery bag and just cut it up um, And don't worry. I won't waste it I'll probably use it for another DIY because always have ideas and then use a white pencil crayon because a regular pencil won't show up So then after trace it again and then cut it out yeah, honestly, half this video was just tracing, so prepare to like trace. And then after, when you cut out the f uh, the fabric with a good pair of scissors, because if you have a dull pair of scissors, it won't it'll it, it'll be a struggle. So find a good pair of scissors to cut it out. But you want to leave around maybe two centimeters or half or quarter inch or something around the edge of the ears, so that you can uh, fold it on the back. Because uh, if you don't, then it's just gonna be harder when you glue it on. And now. The reason why I have my speaker out here <laughs> is really because um, I needed it to, to frame around my head um, so it can like stay still so I can trace around a part of the ears. You can obviously wing it later on but the reason why I'm doing it like this so that I can have a rough estimate on the curvature that it'll be when it's on my head so that I can cut out the curve on the ear template or well, not a template but like on the ears that's where that, that'll be going on like on my head anyway. And then afterwards, with the cutout fabric, then you want to glue the ears onto the uh, cardboard. Um, also, side side note for the cardboard that I used, um, it's it's left over from architecture school, but I just but an, another substitute because it's slightly thinner than regular cardboard, but something you can use as well is kind of like a, um, a, a slightly thicker cereal bar box. Um, but yeah. So then after when you have it perfectly uh, glued on, um, you want to take some fiber fill or, or if you have any extra fabric remaining, you can use that to stuff it in as well. You just you just want it so that it's nice and fluffy. Um, if you want, you can skip this step, but, obvi but obviously filling it up with that extra little fluff makes it like, like a nice like, not cloud, but like ear. And then afterwards, you want to take the glue and carefully put it inside. Don't please don't burn yourself like I did many times and I did in this video. Please don't burn yourself like me because it really hurt. Oh my god, one time I literally burned myself in school and I got in trouble, but like that's a whole different story. And then afterwards, after you, you, you at least getting some some hot glue on your fingers but like preferably not then you would take a piece of a thicker plastic um if not uh you, you can use um some thick cardboard as well um you just want it thick enough so that you can bend it to be on, on the back side of the ear as well as using the glue to put it on top of the hat and this is honestly my hat from high school i didn't want to buy a new one but you can buy one from Amazon. I know you can get some for around either seven to ten dollars. But if you, honestly, if you have a spare one, then use it because yes, recycle and upcycle. And then after, you just want to glue both sides onto on top. And then if you want, um, try to put it on top of your head first so you can kind of see how it looks. And afterwards, I just needed some. Um, fabric to cover it up a bit because of some extra parts but anyway moving on to the second piece so this one I, I, I use the clear plastic uh, that I used to, like the uh, on to make the ears support where basically I just cut out circles um, and bended the part that'll go on the headband um, and the fringes so the fringes are different here because obviously the plastic is more sturdier than the fabric so the, uh, uh, so I have to cover up it later on which you'll see how I did that my voice crack while wow, puberty 
um, and then after so this one you actually do need four so two per ear um, so that's something that's different from the other one which you only need two so I should have cut up more of this one but anyway and then after that has like like not glitter but like sequins I think I guess they're kind of like sequins and there's glitter on the inside I, I uh, but use a small dollop because if you use a big gollop, the dollop, gollop then you might see it and then on a piece of paper you can use regular like any scrap piece of paper you can even see here that I didn't uh, bother getting a piece that was big enough to fit both ears because you just need it for a rough estimate uh, to do the, the, uh, a grad cap in case if you didn't have a grad cap uh, available um, so you can kind of make do if you can and just draw out um, a little template for it um, so even though I'm only cutting out one piece this is actually going to turn into two pieces uh, so that the two um, the the part that goes on your head and the part that goes um, I guess just on top um, will overlap so uh, uh, just like this I, I left a piece so that the two pieces can overlap and then you just want to take some any fabric I had felt thank god I have fabric for this part and then just glue it over um, so that it can overlap on uh, around the edges of the cardboard. Put on the tops of here and the tops of here. Took some yellow uh, string. Either way, I got it from the dollar store. So create borders around it so you can kind of tell the distinction more. So I don't know if I should have added it on the left or the right. Why am I out of breath? Because since you can see the sides over here, craft tinsel, kind of, kind of like what you would put on like a mini Christmas tree. So, I'm just gonna add that around the edges. Yeah! Oh my god. Okay, she's kinda cute or whatever. So here's the final ears that see through. And honestly, the grad photos happened like really fast. I was in line maybe, well, not in line, but like there were like other people like so she didn't depart in there. I was, it, it maybe took around five minute wait. Or, 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 or as I was like taking the photo, first of all, he knew what Arca Torture was, so. I wanted to film a cord, but honestly, he was really fast, so. Like, I thought like it was gonna take longer, but it's only like 10 minutes, it was like boom, boom, boom. Then as the photographer was taking the pictures, it literally was like boom, 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 boom. Head to the, if you ever taken a grad photo of any guy, then you know what's like, it's like your head, like your head still, everything is, you know. And so here are the photos of me with it. Honestly, I like the photos of me with the hats a lot better than just the one without. I'm biased, but you decide. So I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. And just in case if you did, feel free to subscribe down below and leave a comment on if you're graduating this year. If not, then I guess you'll be, will be graduating either online or vir virtually or like in person or whatever the situation is. And maybe give a like to everyone who's graduating. See y'all in the next video. Oh. And see y'all in the next video. Bye!